A Waco nonprofit is hoping to rezone a portion of East Waco from a single family area to an office limited commercial area in the coming weeks. Fox 44's Kendall Green caught up with a leader spearheading the idea. He joins us now from the newsroom. Kendall, why, re why the rezoning proposal? Well, Adam, two reasons. They want to maintain affordability and they want to provide more opportunities for folks that are trying to start businesses or maintain businesses from their home. To be able to deliver affordability, we're just trying to make sure that we have the choices um, that are going to enable us to get a product that people want um, and can use. Megan Henderson, the executive director of City Center Waco, is hoping Waco City Council approves her nonprofit's proposal to rezone an area in East Waco. The current zone is classified as a single or two family residential property, a house or duplex. Henderson says those options are less affordable. If you're limited to just single family only, that per unit cost is going to be higher than if you can get a couple of units that are maybe a little bit closer together. She and the City Center Waco employees say that they feel this is the right step to make. Henderson adds, after having talks with residents, changing the current zone could be beneficial in other ways as well. We've also heard from folks in the community, particularly the Neighborhood Association, a desire to be able to earn money close to home. Um, to have like maybe a little side business or um, a little shop, you know, close to where you live. So having the 03 zoning would enable us to have maybe some live work units. And for those who already have a small business in the area, the rezoning approval could open up the possibility for expansion. Um, I talked to um, one lady in particular who um, has an herb business where she sells medicinal um, herbs, teas, um, um, those kinds of things, supplements, um, and she's interested in kind of expanding what she's allowed to do on the property where she lives. Henderson says the nonprofit explored options, including rezoning to a commercial area like Elm Avenue, but they concluded the option they're proposing was best. And we just really felt like that would be too commercial, too intense, um, and potentially change the character of the surrounding neighborhood too much. And we're not looking to do that. We, we, wanted, we want the, the, the things that get built on this property to look like they go with the houses that are nearby. Now that proposal is expected to go before council next month, and we'll know around the springtime which direction it will head. But for now, reporting in the newsroom, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.